Third legislative district Democrat Steve Sweeney got hugs and kudos today from the other teachers union at Rowan University. The American Federation of Teachers has endorsed the incumbent Senate president's reelection despite disagreements on some issues like public employee pensions. And don't you think we had a couple of harsh words with each other when that pension deal was going on a few years ago? <laughs> Answer, yes. But you know something? This is a guy who walks the walk with working people. That puts the AFT at odds with the powerful NJEA. New Jersey's larger teachers union has loosed a barrage of attack ads in a determined effort to dislodge Sweeney. Steve Sweeney tries to tell you he gets things done for South Jersey. Don't believe him. This week alone, there's a million dollars on network television uh, between the both sides. And, and, in uh, one week? In one week, yes. And it's been escalating. This is just, a, in my mind, a personal vendetta that is wasting a whole lot of their members' money. He says the race could end up costing 16 million. Some estimate a record-shattering $20 million, but that doesn't seem to deter either side. The NJEA says its war against Sweeney's rooted in the pension issue. Sweeney did get Governor Christie to sign a bill forcing the state to make quarterly pension payments, but the NJEA wanted more. He has not funded that pension the entire eight years that he has been here, despite promises uh, that he would do this and he would do that. That, he has not fulfilled that. Instead of Sweeney, the NJEA is backing a Republican candidate, Salem County nuclear power plant worker Fran Grenier, a Trump supporter and unlikely choice for a union that rarely backs Republicans at all. Indeed, wholeheartedly endorsed liberal Democratic gubernatorial candidate Phil Murphy. But it's adamant about Grenier. Whether it was school funding, collective bargaining, workers' rights, uh, pension obligation, Fran Grenier came in uh, completely aligned with what it is that we need to have happen. My opponent is a Trumper, a big time Trumper. His Facebook page, that if your salary comes from taxpayers, you're not a taxpayer, you're a tax user. Grenier agreed to be interviewed for our story, but then said he had to go to work instead. Meanwhile, the AFT's New Jersey president says that two unions agreed to disagree. I'm respecting their process and they must have made that decision based on what their membership wanted. Chiara says democracy is messy and that after the LD3 knockdown drag out, teachers will have to close ranks and work together. In Glassboro, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.